Taiwan Walker, 24th start of the year, a 3.98 ERA. This has really been a heck of a run for him. In fact, uh, in his last 11 starts, he's 9-1. and one. Eddie Julian will lead things off, then Polanco and Correa. 3-2, and Julian takes outside, so he will take a leadoff walk. And now Jorge Polanco. Julian goes, and it's wide. The game starts with Walker walking the first two batters. Now here's Carlos Correa. And the first pitch is swung on, bounced to third base. That's going to be a fair ball. Castro fields, throws in time. Julian to third, Polanco down to second. And Kepler homered last night. Sharp ground ball. A run will score. Kepler thrown out. He'll get a run batted in. Julian scoring, and the Twins have the first lead. Three walks in the inning, and Matt Walner will come to the plate with a chance to do some real damage. Now the Twins haven't had a hit. They just hit two ground balls against Walker. It's out to center field. Jake Cave is able to make the catch. There are only two pitchers in Major League Baseball who struck out more batters than Pablo Lopez, Kevin Gosman, the only pitcher in the American League. He's had some success against the Phillies in his brief Major League career, and the Twins are counting that he'll uh, give them a good outing here tonight and end this little losing streak. Schwarber leading off after coming out of last night's game early. And he takes care of Schwarber right away on just four pitches. One down, Alec Bohm. That hits Lopez in the back of the leg. It looked like it got him on a fleshy part of his body. Let's hope so. There's a lot of meat back there. And a contagious smirk that Lopez does feature. He's letting his staff know that he's okay. Ten pitches and a one, two, three first for Pablo Lopez. Jorge Polanco, he walked his first time. Count full and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. So from three and out to strikeout. The fifth walk by Walker, the third time this year, he has issued five walks in a game. He's had six full counts in the 12 plate appearances. Now Kepler bats, and like Correa, Kepler saw one pitch and bounced out the short, but did drive in a run in the opening inning. Driven to center, Cave coming in, and can't make the play. Correa to second, Cave's lucky that he was able to knock that ball down. Twins have hit some scorchers to the outfield, that one. The first one that's actually touched the outfield grass. First and second one out, and now Jeffers. Swinging a ground ball up the middle, stop behind the bag, he's got it. Steps on second, throws to first, and boy did he need that. Double play ball, 4-3, and Walker gets out of trouble again. It'll be Walker against Walner to start the fourth inning, then Vasquez and Gallo. Deep to right, a rocket, and it is gone. Matt Walner with a home run to right and it left in the blink of an eye. Eighth home run for Walner and it's two to nothing. It was a laser. No doubter. Walker's a guy who does give up home runs but since May 1st has not given up multiple homers in a game. I think the Twins can change that. This is hit high and deep to left. Schwarber's back at the wall and it's gone to the opposite field. Joey Gallo doesn't hit many that way but he just hit another one. And for Gallo, his 19th home run of the year. Second homer on this road trip for Joey Gallo. You're right, he doesn't go that way often. And the sixth walk matching a career high for Taiwan Walker. And a bit of unrest amongst the Philly faithful here with Walker's command tonight. Oh, smoked ribs it looked like. So six walks, now a hit batter, and Walner will come up with two men aboard. Out toward left center field. Cave got a good jump, he's got a good read on it. And he puts it away. Side is retired, no runs, no hits, two men left. But he's trying to get something going offensively here in the bottom of the fifth as Trey Turner will lead off against Pablo Lopez. Hold on the ground, through the hole, left side, base hit for Trey, nine game hitting streak. Now the Phillies have a base runner to start an inning for the first time tonight. Here's Jake Cave. Pitch is looped out to right field, it's going to drop for a hit. Turner stops at second. You might be right, John. The Phillies have them right where they want them. The tying run is coming to the plate. Swung on, hit in the air right field. Kepler moving towards the line. Should have it. He does for the innings checking out. And Turner will have to trot back to the bag at second. Well struck, but Max was there. Big pop-up. Oh, man. Is this ever going to come down? <laughs> Correa with the catch. I was up there a long time. Two hits are left aboard. It's still 3 nothing. 3 nothing. Phillies go to a new pitcher. It'll be Matt Strom. Here's the 1-2. And a swing and a miss. And JT picks it out of the dirt. Puts the tag on Vasquez. And there's one away. Swing and a miss. Two strikeouts for Strom. We're in the uh, sixth inning. 40,000 crowds tonight. Swing and a miss. 
Strom with three strikeouts in the inning. Here's Harper, 0 for 2, tried to bunt his last plate appearance. The pitch to Harper is lined hard towards the right field corner. That'll be a base hit. One hops the fence. Harper around first. He's on his way to second. He's got a double. All right. That can spark the Phillies. Two and two to center. Taylor diving catch in the gap again. Same play he made last night, but in a bigger spot. Twice in a row, he's sped to the gap to take a double away. One hard hop to Julian. Six shutout innings for Pablo Lopez against the hottest hitting team in baseball. Correa, 0 for 1, but two walks. He's taken ownership of his poor season so far. There's a blast to left field. Back is Schwarber, and it's gone. Correa with his 15th home run of the year and that was smoked and it's four to nothing. Yeah another no doubter right there 380 102.2 off the bat and now a lefty lefty matchup Soto facing Kepler blasted to right center field deep to the gap and halfway up the wall and Kepler will go into second with a double what a great at bat against the lefty Soto another extra base hit here for Max Kepler. And a four pitch walk will fill first base. Matt Walner, he's hit the ball hard three times, has a home run, two line drive outs. Ground ball, base hit up the middle. Kepler around third, he'll score. Walner comes through against the lefty, and it's five nothing twins. So now, with two in and two on, Gallo, a good day at the plate, homered to left, singled off the wall and right. He's drawn a walk. A high fly, right field, and deep. Joey Gallo's second of the night into the second deck. And the Twins have broken it open. His first homer tonight was a homer in only four ballparks. That one? You can't find a park that that's not a homer in. Holy cow. Sixth home run for the Twins in this series. Their first with a man on base. And there were two men on base. The Twins have an 8 nothing lead. Turner's been on twice, a walk and a single. Bounce over to third. Turner is able to beat it. So Turner is on with an infield hit. Here's Real Muto. Two strikeouts tonight. Here's the 0-1. And a swing and a line drive deep to left field towards the corner. And that ball is off the base of the wall. Into third goes Turner. Into second goes JT Real Muto. And the Phillies with a couple of runners on and nobody out here in the bottom of the seventh. Castro has struck out and he's also flied out to right. Bouncer left side. A run will come home. The throw to first is in time. Farmer makes an excellent play. The Phillies are on the board. It's an 8-1 game. Big pop-up. Gallo near the bag. Ends it. One for the Phillies. One left. It's still 8-1 Minnesota. The Phillies down to their final out. Schwarber the batter. And the one-two. Swing and a miss. Strike three on a high fastball. This one is over. And the Twins snap the four-game losing streak as they beat the red-hot Phillies 8-1. to